Okay, guys, here we are at Blues Man Advantage again, and today we have a really special guest with us. This is Jerry Bridges. He is the bass player that played with Waylon Jennings from 1978 to, not, to 2002. 2002. 2002. So he, uh, um, he's got just a wealth of really great stories, really great um, information. But the cool thing that's going on right now is we're going to be helping, assisting Jerry in the sale of several pieces of Waylon Jennings gear collection. Um, we've got a couple of amps and a reverb head that we're going to be selling, but the first one that we're going to talk about right here is a 58 Fender Tremolux, a Tweed Tremolux. Um, what was funny is when you, when you brought it in, you know, you thought it was a 61 or 62, and we started, I said, well, as, as a Tweed, that's, you know, that, that's going to be older than that, so we started checking it out, and we found out it's a 58. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about this amp and, you know, what, what where you got it and, and, and you know, how it was acquired, okay. where you guys used it. When I started with Waylon in, uh, in 78, uh, I was hired as a bass player. And the uh, first thing I played on was uh, uh, Amanda and then Dukes of Hazard, which happened after that. Mm -hmm. Waylon asked me to go on the road with him for 14 days. That lasted 23 years. Wow. <laughs> so uh, after, I, after I was around him for a while, he heard me playing guitar one day, and he wanted to know if I wanted to do some guitar on some session. I said, sure, uh, which I did some guitar work down in Muscle Shoals before I moved up here. And we got to talking one day about sounds and, and what we both like to hear and all that. And I told him I loved the sound of the old amps, the old gear where you didn't have to do anything to them except turn them on turn them up. Right. That's about all I ever did. Uh, anyway, he uh, surprised me. He had this. Uh, he gave this to me for my birthday. And uh, I've had it since the uh, early 80s. And uh, I used it quite a bit. Uh, recording, it's, it's been on a lot of Wayland stuff, uh, and I, I used it a few times when we did a, uh, benefits, things that were small venue yeah. things, because it, these amps sound wonderful, but once you pass a certain uh, amount of volume up there, it's all one tone from there on. Yeah, so, yeah. so that's it, where the quad reverbs came in. That's right, but it was fun to use. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it. He, I mean, he loved the hemp too, but it, it served no purpose for for Waylon, you know, yeah. for what he did. So, uh, it became mine. Very cool. Very cool. And as far as we know, this thing is is hundred percent original. It was recapped or, and serviced somewhere in the eighties. You yes, said, Yes, it right? is hundred percent original. Yeah, it's original speakers, original hasn't iron, all that the, stuff. Hasn't been on the road. Hasn't been on road gigs or anything like that. It's yeah. just choice things that I choose to do. Cool. Mostly studio stuff. Mostly studio stuff. So, do you? Can you remember any of them that you would know that you would have used this on? Well, I mean, this had to be in the early early eighties. It was probably on. Uh, uh, what goes around comes around. It was probably on uh, "Ain't Living Long Like This," mm -hmm. which was one of Waylon's first number one singles. Uh, just a ton of stuff like that. All you gotta do is Google and go back there, and I was on all those. All um, those old records. Yeah. Well, very cool. Well, all right. Well, thank you for bringing this in, and uh, we're gonna look at a couple other pieces you right quick too. So. You got it.